Ooh, hi there. What's up guys, Dredge here with another video today, and let's see if you can guess where I'm at. Yeah, I'm at the Volcano Island, and today I'm going to show you guys how to build a trap and tame the Basilisk. Very, very simple once you know how to do it. So let's go ahead and go find one, and then I'll show you how to build a trap real quick. Alright, so I found my basilisk. Now I'm just going to clear the beach of anything that really wants to kill me. I mean, you got to be careful around here. Um, I'm just trying to open stuff up so I don't have any problems putting my trap down. Because this is a long trap, alright? And you can't build right up next to these um, stone pillars over here. You can't get too close to those. So you're going to want to build it down towards the beach, um, and I'll show you how to do that. But first, let me get these sleeping bags and put down some sleeping bags because we are on the volcano island, and I don't want to die, all right, because it's a long way from my house to here. So I need some spawn points just in case this goes sideways somehow. But anyways, I went ahead and built the foundation for the trap. It's a 3x7, like I said. And you want to put out the stone foundations to keep the basilisk from going under. You don't want it to dig under the ground and go under. You want it to stay up. So once you've got your 3x7 here, you're going to put doorway uh, walls all the way around this thing up to too high. All right, and as we're doing that, I can only hear my uh, shadow man going to town on something. Diablo, would you calm down back there? I doubt that Gallimimus was really a uh, problem. But anyways, you seeing me do this here. I'm just going to go all the way around with it. Get it finished up. Move my shadow man out of the way. And then um, I can show you all the next step, which is just putting um, wooden ramps on the end that the shadow main is on right now just so that the basilisk can go up and in i'm just going to call these type of traps drop traps because it's basically what what it is you kite whatever you want it follows you drops into the trap so i'm just going to call these type of traps drop traps from now on so if you hear me speaking of make a drop trap that's what i'm talking about so you just grab your uh, wooden ramps, throw them on there, and there you go. It's that simple. That's your basilisk trap. What you're going to do is you're going to kite your basilisk in here. It's going to drop down in here, and then it's not going to be able to get up over the walls, and it's not going to be able to go through the uh, tiny spaces between the walls there. So now let me go park my shadow main. And get my bat out here. And there is our basilisk. And it looks like he's fighting. Oh, God. Please don't kill it. It's not a high level. It took me forever to find this thing. Don't kill it. Okay, good. All right, you. Follow me. So, when you're doing this, if you're really nervous about those gas balls, because they will kill you, um, get a gas mask and put it on. Um, if you're good on a bat, and you think you can dodge them like I'm doing here, don't worry about it. I mean, I've got, I think I, I got 400 points of health, and a gas ball hits me, and I think it only did half damage. Like, it only took half of my health away. So, it's a little forgiving, but if you're not confident in your flying ability, I would probably bring a gas mask. So, get his attention here. And uh, basically, you're just going to land right in there and let it follow you in. Let it drop all the way in. When it gets in there, just fly out. No problem. And then, there he is. He's stuck in the trap. And then after you get him stuck, you're going to go into your inventory. And these things eat either fertilized rock drake eggs or they eat fertilized uh, void wyvern eggs or void worm eggs. I think that's what they're called. But... 
one of those, either one of those will do. You see me using both of them. As soon as I dropped that uh, egg in there, he ate it immediately on the first time. Now, after the first time he eats, it's going to take him about mm, probably around two to three minutes to eat the next egg. So if it takes a while, don't freak out. Just leave the legs, ugh, egg, <laughs> just leave the legs sitting there. The egg just sitting there. And eventually he will eat it. It's just going to take him a couple minutes before he gets hungry to want to eat again. So as you see now, I skipped out a huge part where I just sit here and wait. And uh, I wanted to show you the whole time in between eating, but it was literally me just staring at a snake in a trap. It was really boring, so I cut it out. But anyways, you see him finally eat the last egg. He tames. And um, I land, go down. Look at his stats. So this was a level 50, and it came out to level 71. All right, I think it took three eggs, and this is times three. This is in the November um, event, the Thanksgiving event that's going on right now. That's when I tamed this dude. So, um, yeah, um, that's basically it. It's really, really simple, guys. Uh, as long as you get the trap, you get him kited in. I mean, bat trap eggs that's really all you need and that about wraps it up i hope you guys enjoyed this video if you have any suggestions for future videos please leave them in the comment section down below and i'll see you guys next time later guys